Silent Hill One. So, uh, why did I change my mind about Silent Hill? Um, I'll tell you. We're gonna watch the intro. But, I definitely loved Silent Hill 2. I wasn't sure I was gonna play this. In fact, I was saying I wasn't going to play it. But then, just the overwhelming amount of people saying, Vin, you'll really enjoy this game. And, uh... That plus I figured, well, yeah, it's the time of the year for it. And I really want to know what the, how the series started. What what is all of this? Oh oh Lord, look at that dithering. Let's take a look at the intro. Is the intro spoilery? No? Okay. So here's your warning. Now, I, I had some other games in mind for Spooky Month, but this one I knew would make chat happy. Oh yeah, there's that Silent Hill signature music. had people recommend Silent Hill 3 and I've learned that without Silent Hill 1, 3 doesn't have quite as much impact. So it's one of the main reasons I decided to do this. The name is James Bond. Vinny, are you playing any other Silent Hills this month? Whoa, whoa, one at a time, my friend! I didn't even start this one yet. Now, do we see this stuff throughout the game? some of it. Okay, so there was exclusive content in that intro. Alright. Any controller configuration? I know this is silly, but um, is there any one that maybe would work best or just keep it default? Default should be okay. All right. Where is it? I, I mean, neck. Once we get in game, I'll be able to crop the viewable area a little bit better. Just want to make sure I don't cut anything off.
Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet, too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Cheryl. So I think I can crop it here. I want to recommend watching this with the lights out. Put the volume up a little bit. So just expect me getting lost a lot. What's this now? I don't have a... oh, the map. Footsteps. They turned low draw distance into atmosphere. Yep. Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! Damn, she's fast. It's already gone. Someone said, is there a better resolution version of this game? Um, not that I'm aware of, so I'm keeping this classic. This is the PS1 version. I was considering finding a better version, you know, visually, but then I realized the classic version has the dithering. And since so many indie developers are trying to emulate this style lately, I, I feel like this is fine. What the? What is it? Angles. Oh, oh, we're getting dutched. Again, my first time playing this, for anyone who didn't know that. And, uh, that's strange. It's getting darker. Better than nothing, I guess. And I was a little hesitant to play this because I didn't want... Broken wheelchair, what's this doing here? As I explained, I didn't... Because this game is, you know, quite a bit older, I didn't want to dislike it. But, again, I just looked at some videos of it and I thought, like, I've had recommendations. I said, fuck it, I gotta stream it. What's this? Trent Reznor. Oh, the camera is so disorienting. Which is a good thing. What is this? What's going on here? Whoa. Locked by a fence? That wasn't there before.
Is this Squall? Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. Tourist? I came here for a vacation. I just got here. Is that the fucking Twin Peaks? I don't know what happened. Sound? I'd like to find out myself. Ding ding. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, Something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Squall. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. Phones are all dead. And the radio, too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. Untuck your shirt, dude, it's man. dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. It's a lot of trust. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. <laughs> welcome. It. Welcome to America. Here's your free gun. Yeah. Thanks. Excellent chat. Well done. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. So apparently there's Portis Head posters. Portis Head's a really good band. That's what chat was telling me. I'll play a Portis Head some uh, song next time I stream this. Someday someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully they'll find my notes useful. Study, damn it. It's a good map. There's uh, Stephen King on the poster. What was that, chat? What was that? Did you see that? Did, did I? I the corner of my eye. A thing w appeared in the window. I, d I didn't get a good look at it. A radio. Is it broken? Can't hear anything. Oh, 
I'm stocked up. Oh god, strafing is LNR. Oh, I see. What's that? Huh. Radio. Radio. What's going on with that radio? That wasn't a bird in the window, was it? Guess I gotta learn how to shoot quick. I'm really struggling with the controls, chat. You have to kill it, you can't leave. Oh, so you hold R2, and that'll get you into, like, shoot mode, or fight mode. Look at that. F Dude's about to block some football players from scoring a goal. What's that? Yeah, a goal. Huh. I'm not radio. talking about American football. What's going on with that radio? Come to Brazil. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? I wasted three shots. Oh. The radio may be useful for something. I better take it with me. The longer you hold aim, the more accurate your shots will be. Where could Cheryl have gone? I guess I'll check that alley again. Finney Street? That's me. Gotta learn some some stuff about these controls. In Silent Hill 2, when you heard the radio, that meant an enemy was nearby. Or well, I say enemy, but thing of some kind.
This is correct. Yeah, monster birds is a theme for tonight's stream. Oh no. Cool noise. Despite, oh, uh, unlike James, Harry can run indefinitely despite breathing getting fucky. Okay, so don't hesitate to run. Good to know. You cannot pet the dogs in Silent Hill 1, chat. Steel pipe. Pizza box. Oh, wait, no. To school. Isn't the Cheryl sketchbook? Hmm. She's at the school. Okay. Sketchbook cover. This picture. It's me. First picture that Cheryl drew in the sketchbook that I gave her on her fifth birthday. That picture. Vin, do you want to be guided towards the cannon ending? It's easy to miss. Yes. If I'm, like, about to miss something vital for that ending, let me know. But without spoilers, if possible. I already missed the cannon ending. Oh, fuck. I was supposed to zig. I zagged. Zagreus. Huh. Makes you think, doesn't it? Fuck out of here. Just looking for ammo or potential items or something. Never mind. Later. Okay, my health is uh, yellowish green. How does one turn the flashlight on? Or is it automatic?
Yeah, you fly away. Someone just said, you go and you tell them! Is that, uh, is that a reference to the arrival? Quick turn is both shuffle buttons at once, oh, good to know. Go in the creepy house. Nope. Oh, that dog is still alive. Oh, fuck. But uh, alive is a subjective term here, but you know what I mean. Gotta get used to the timing. Vinny, investigate the dog house? But where was the dog house? Did you see an actual dog house? Is that fake? Then heal, you're really low. Alright. Chat is now just giving me jape formation. Sometimes I press the wrong button for the map. Yeah, the, the fog is very... It's, it's right up in your face. Um, but I understand the purpose of it, and it works really well, and it builds suspense nicely. Reminds me of Turok. Oh, look, doghouse. <laughs> Chat was right. We gotta find a way to that school. And there's a doghouse here. Here. <laughs> House key was hidden in the doghouse. Take it. Yes. So, 
um, some kind of... Oh, save file. I'll try to do incremental saves from here on out. Five nights at Frederick's. In a foggy mountain town. Or, as I thought the game was called, Friday Friday Night Pizza? Friday Night Pizza. Get it? Friday? Boo. Oh. Gotta fire my writers again. Something is written on the map, hanging on the wall. Keys for Eclipse. Vinny, do you get it? Boo. Ah! Vinny, fire your voice actor, too. He's shit. What if... There are three locks. Oh. Chat, what if I'm some kind of Wizard of Oz, like Meta Vinny, and I hire a voice actor? And there's writers. To amalgamate a personality. Like, after a certain point, I just, um, open-sourced the Vinny.exe. Bro, you missed a map that's required to proceed. Did I really? Didn't I copy that? Copied, copied that. Then I don't think you did. I think I did. Did, 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 did. See? I have the information. The arrows in the circle. Yeah, we got another dead end. Possible, or do you need bullet? Strike three, you're out. Vinny, it's time for your weekly Star Wars talk. Uh, oh, it's on full sauce. I did a test of that Star Wars mod for, uh, Blade and Sorcery. Um, and it runs, it runs a lot better now. And I did plenty of Star Wars talk then. I was using Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber. It's really fucking cool to use a lightsaber in VR. It just... There needs to be more to do with it. Then turn off the radio. So apparently, if you turn the radio off, enemies won't know where you are, precisely.
they can't find you and you can't find them. I'm just going to assume you can't enter most houses. Let's see how my health is doing. Awful. That's all it takes is, yeah, the pipe you can hit six times, no problem, but a little, like, baby kick, that's, that's really gonna put the thing down. Also, my health is really fucked up. of lion. That bird getting hit sounds like David Lee Roth's isolated vocals. I live my life like there's no tomorrow. That is a great song, though. I think I'm going to start listening. I mean, terrible time to listen to Van Halen after Eddie passes away, but I think I want to listen to 1984. I hear that's uh, one of their best. Self-titled in 1984. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a good time to listen. Any time's a good time to listen to a band that you might enjoy or music that you might enjoy. But I really, you know, fake fan. I just, they weren't really cool when I was growing up, Van Halen. They were just like this rock dinosaur. And they had Sammy Hagar, and I didn't really care for the songs that I heard on uh, MTV at the time. But listening to that early stuff, that's when I, I started to appreciate them. Someone just said Van Halen is ass. <laughs> There's still some great songs, and Eddie was still one of the most influential guitar players of all time. So, <clears throat> whatever. 
You know what's funny? Using ass as an insult when we as a society chase ass and worship ass. Isn't that interesting? Do you remember that Kim Kardashian picture on Kanye's album? I think it was Kanye's album. It was just like... Like ass, but it was almost like a classical painting. <sighs> Chat with the puns. I feel like there's a key somewhere around here. But anyway, no, the, the, the truth is, though, I didn't like Van Halen growing up, and, and now I want to, uh... Like, Joe is nine years older than me, and... or more than that, like ten, and he, you know, grew up in the cool-ish era of Halen, and he learned how to shred because of Eddie. Dog's head. Pressing select for the map. Elroy Street. This is what happens when you eat cheese and pass out watching Air Bud. <laughs> and five milligrams of melatonin. Throw that in there too while you're at it. I, again, I oh, same goddamn problem every time. Someone said, I will maintain that cheese dreams are fake. I don't know if they are or not, it's just something that I've heard. It's even referenced by Ebenezer Scrooge. A piece of cheese. Like, he, he mentions that, like, it was a bad piece of cheese. So, I'm gonna tell you how disgusting of a human being I am today. Is, I went to a food truck today to get lunch. Food truck. And I said, hey, can I get a Philly cheesesteak? It's in the mood for a Philly cheesesteak. Dude said, uh, we don't have any more roll- we don't have any more rolls or heroes, or, you know. I'm like, okay. He was like, we got, uh, white bread, we got rye bread, we got, uh, wrap or bagel. I said, well, what do you recommend? I said, if I were to get, let's say, a cheesesteak on one of those items, what would you recommend? He said, it's pretty good on a bagel. So I got a cheesesteak with peppers and onions, salt, pepper, on a bagel. And it was awesome. Someone said that's illegal. I, I mean, you think about it, bagel seems like a legal alternative. Then you go to the convenience store marked on the map. Um, I was gonna go back to the three key location. Is there a way to zoom?
been, when was the last time you drank a Slurpee? Just 10 years or so? Even then I was too old to drink a Slurpee. I think the legal eight, like as soon as you're able to drink alcohol, you have to stop drinking Slurpees, like legally. I can see this was not a popular opinion. The chat has turned on me. Chat, did you know that I have a blue check mark? And therefore, I am so inclined to have. I don't have a blue check mark. I was gonna come in there with me. I do, uh, I don't want to be a hypocrite because I like sugar a lot. I just shouldn't be having, like, that much sugar. Like, Slurpee is a lot of sugar. And it gives me brain freeze. Why not? I don't know, I'm 35, I don't want diabetes. I don't know. Yeah, there's definitely good supplies in here. Yeah, I did have a hot chocolate last night. That's true. A Slurpee is less sugar than a soda. What? What do you say about this? I guess it depends on the Slurpee, right? You'd have to do some research, but that just feels like it has more sugar, but then again, I, I don't really drink too much soda. I drink ginger ale, which is enough soda for me, and it's enough sugar for me, but... Um, the type of sugar I like is mostly in pastries, like they eat in Troll 2. Look, cookies, brownies, that kind of shit, chocolate. That's my sweet tooth. Not to say I won't eat a gummy worm every now and then, because those, those are pretty cool. Vinny, ginger ale is soda. Yes, it is. I won't disagree with you. It's called ginger ale. So, I call it ale. But, it's got as much sugar as soda. So... God, get out of here. Get out of here. Jesus, that was some, like... I had to really get the fuck away. <laughs> They're still on my... So yes, uh, my, my, uh, I got contacted by the Girard Deli Co Corporation. Someone, um, was being snarky with me, saying, We here at Gir Girard Deli Chocolate would like to offer you a one-year supply for a sponsorship on your channels. And it was just some, it was some chat member just fucking around. But I couldn't tell if it was, like, there was actual vitriol. 
but I'm always actually genuinely a little bit, like, hesitant to say the name of a company on stream that I like. Because people are so conditioned to be advertised to, that it's hard to know when people genuinely like something. But I also don't want to, uh... You know, if I like something, if I like a hot chocolate... Uh, I, I don't want to have to say, Company A makes hot chocolate. It is good. Like, I, you know, if I like something, I like something. But... Whoa! But yeah, I always do feel a little hesitant about that. Vinny, you know you do actually affect chat members' consumer choices when you mention a brand you like. Yeah, I know. I'm not getting paid for any of that shit, either. Probably a, f a little bit. There's probably some people that have zero, like, advertising does nothing for them whatsoever. Or some people that just, like, have no interest in any of the things I personally like. And as such, it does not matter what I say. Someone said, I've eaten 15 crazy hamburgers since you mentioned it on stream. <sighs> what? It's getting dark again? What's going on? Oh shit. noise. Jesus. doing we are just about there okay so this is this is speed run now apparently <sighs> why you not shoot shoot proper The school was modeled mostly after the school in kindergarten cop. 
like they said they used photo references for it. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Detective John Kimball! Oh, I definitely, um, so having played Silent Hill 2 first, and then playing this and seeing, like, the seeds, I now understand. Like, the game design present, you know? It holds up really well for a PS1 game. PS1 was a weird system graphically, but once a developer knew how to really take advantage of the system's power. Like, even the wobbly textures don't bother me in most games if it's done right. It's got, like, a distinct look. It's the dithering, it's the lack of the texture filtering. Like, N64 technically was more powerful. We've done this conversation plenty. But the smoothing of the textures just led to so much blurriness. There's kind of something about the, the stark textures in the PS1 games that I like a lot. There's a couple N64 games. We had the argument a while back. I even got a little upset because there were a couple chat members that were being, um, you know, extremely one-sided about it, saying zero N64 games look good. There are some pretty good-looking N64 games, but I generally would say PS1 has aged better. And I like a lot of the graphical tricks of the PS1 better. That said, if you don't like texture warbling, you're gonna have a tough time with PS1. More Ronaldo Gordon. This must be the list of teachers. I think Metal Gear Solid still looks amazing too. But then again, Konami, Konami, I'm seeing similar, some, some similarities here. It's written in blood. 12 o'clock, a place with songs and sound. Silver guidepost is untapped in lost tongues. Awakening at the ordained order. It's written in blood. 5 o'clock, darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. Ten o'clock. Alchemy laboratory. Gold in an old man's palm. The future hidden in balls. Uh, in his fist. Exchange for sage's water. So, so this is going to tell me, like, how to do these puzzles, isn't it? Isn't it? Is, is nut. You don't remember the, the dude w live like a wind rammer as you fuck who said to James Rolfe that he could see the future in balls? What? Oh, <laughs> don't do that! The hands are stopped at 10.
This music is so weird. It sounds like Broken, the uh, EP by Nine Inch Nails. Like some of the sounds on there. Apparently this composer was influenced by Nine Inch Nails, so that makes total sense if so. The teachers were named after members of Sonic Youth. Oh, Gordon. Kim Gordon. And, oh, did it say Moore as well? M -O I thought that was a Ronald D. Moore reference. The dude that wrote Star Trek. Uh, never mind. Yeah, Moore and Gordon. Kim Gordon and uh, Thurston Moore. Cool. A golden sun. Okay, this, I don't know. Street names were uh, horror authors. Imagine getting carved in the ass and then the front. Is this the kindergarten cop poster that people were talking about? They all are? That's awesome. Comparisons, hang on a minute. All right, that's pretty funny. Know what movie I'm watching tonight? Okay, maybe not. Maybe I don't want to watch Kindergarten Car- Curp- No, I've never seen the Silent Hill movie. Or movies. I've heard mixed things. I've heard... You know, some positive stuff about the first Silent Hill movie. I've heard some negative stuff about it too, but I've heard mostly Silent Hill 2 is not really that great. The movie, not the game. The game is great. Kind of hard to judge distance a little bit. I missed the door at reception. Good to know. The second movie has a Pop-Tart jump scare. Ah. Yes. When I think Silent Hill, I think Pop-Tart and jump scare together at last. Ha. Huh. See nothing in these byzanthemones.
Pixel, you were just waiting to use that emote, huh? Just chomping at the bit. Do you mean bathrooms? Yeah, I'm making up a word. Byzantamones. Fuck it, I made up a holiday. We'll make up words, too. Words, man, we made them up. You think anyone cares anymore? Picture of a door. I don't know who drew it, but it certainly is in bad taste. Flames run into the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beck and pray. Yeah, I might need chat's memory to help me with this one, because I won't, won't remember a goddamn thing unless I write it down. Silver guidepost is untapped and lost tongues, awakening at the ordained order. I don't really need to know about this foreskin Silent Hill references that chat is trying to inform me about. Thank you, though. That's that's very sweet of you to get me um, that information. Let's see. The map tells you which doors you went into and which ones don't work, so... Mark. Oh, oh, stairs to the second floor, okay. It is now that game where you solve, like, edutainment mysteries. Um, I always forget the name of it. We've discovered it several times. The, the game on the computer. The game from when we were kids that you played at the, the, the lab. Not Nancy Drew. You played as like a little detective dude with the weird head. And uh, you were in the school. Not Baldy. Super Solvers? Probably with Super Solvers. I just remember having to play these games at the computer lab to learn. Right? And, and um, computer lab was one of my favorite classes, but I couldn't help but feel cheated that I wasn't playing real video games. It's like, yeah, 
Well, I play Zelda. These controls suck. You just want me to solve math puzzles. I see what you're doing. That's the point. Yeah, I know. I knew it was the point, but... I mean, obviously they wouldn't just have video game class where... Okay, have fun playing Mario for 45 minutes. But I guess that's, that's obviously what I wanted. Did I learn much? I didn't learn too much, is what I would say. No one even asked that question, by the way. The fuck? That was somewhat frightening. Um, I learned more about how to just use computers in a general sense. Than I did like, math or whatever problem-solving they were trying to teach me in these games. So... I... I learned, um, a little bit from computer class. And, yeah, I guess I, we started doing computer class in 1994 or so, which means that I got my first computer probably at, like, 97. So for a couple of years there, I didn't, you know, I was like, whoa, what is this? It's cool. What's your favorite spoop movie? My favorite spooky movie is probably still The Shining. The Shining, Alien, The Thing. I hope that helps. Just the, you know, the usual stuff. I have a movie list that I made. Those are the closest to the top, but I'd recommend the Vivich. V-V-I-T-C-H. The original Halloween's great. I don't watch a ton of, like, horror movies. Chemical. It's not my favorite movie genre. But I, I enjoy it, and I always aspire to finding new ones. Or at least ones I haven't seen. Hereditary? Might have to take a look at that. I've heard good things about it. Oh yeah, Jacob's Ladder. Thank you. You know what? Jacob's Ladder should be on my top 100 movies list. I forgot to include it. Speaking of J Jacob's... Jacob's... Wow. J Jacob's Ladder. So, that's a definite top 100 movie that I forgot about. That's a shame. Statue of an old man's hand, fist shut tight. Uh, 
Okay, that's weird. I'm not really sure what to do there. Uh, Jacob's Ladder influenced Silent Hill, especially too. Hostel? Torture porn or good film? I remember thinking Hostel was a very disturbing film and I enjoyed it, but yeah, it's- it's torture porn as well. Oh, I say enjoyed it, meaning like I thought it was well made for what it was and it made me feel disgusting. So I guess mission accomplished. Use the chemical on the hand. I was thinking that, but I also thought that that's a really stupid thing. And there's no way that's the solution to this. But also, I haven't had to, like, actually go into the menu and use an item yet. Is that a- did you really have to do that? Again, it crossed my mind for a split second, and then I just said, nope, too dumb. The reason, the, the re reason, I'm losing my, my mind and just making up words left and right. And, uh, it's late too. It's, it's 3.30, so no wonder. The reason The Shining is my favorite horror movie isn't because it's flat out the scariest movie, it's because it's fucked up psychologically. And it creates a lasting, like, impression of in your head of this hotel and what it would be like to, you know, lose your mind and turn on your family and be influenced by evil spirits, all that stuff, whatever, whatever, yada, yada, yada. Chat, what the fuck is this? Are they babies or penguins? <laughs> Mackerel, I know you're playing Hades, and you should stop right now because you'll be addicted. Don't do that. My Steam friends are on, which I usually turn off, but I have to leave it on if people are going to join my 7 Days to Die server, so I just saw Mackerel start up a game of Hades. Vinny, you have no idea how you just flared my anxiety. I am so sorry. I thought you might enjoy that, and if... <laughs> I guess... I guess, uh... I, <laughs> I didn't realize for a second there how much, how much one might shit their pants over a message like that. It's like, oh, me and Vin are friends, but also not really, because we don't... Uh, because there are 7,000 other people watching his stream right now. Sorry, Mackerel. Enjoy your game of Hades. <laughs> Did 
Did you think I was a mind reader? Like I just like, or I had like a a device installed. Dog, if you need Hades tips, hit me up. Okay, cool. So yeah, The Shining just, uh, I've, I've talked about the movie plenty, and I don't, I don't think I need to go on and on about it, because it's one of the most popular movies. Ugh. But it's just, there's, um, there's a lot to it. I pick up something new every time I watch it. There's a lot of subtext, there's a lot of different angles to it. And there's also impossible geometry. That is confirmed by the filmmakers, that they made the hotel um, spatially impossible so that you don't really notice it too much, but it's there. Have you seen The Lighthouse? Uh, yeah, I believe I put The Lighthouse on my top 100 film list. I, I kind of, I've only seen that movie once and I, I fucking love it. I mean, I we have a Hark emote in chat. I think it's, uh, better Twitch TV only, so if you're missing the Hark emote and other emotes, download better Twitch TV, or Frankerface Z. Or use that as an extension on your chat, your browser, and you will get all the emotes, and there's a whole world of emotes that you, excuse me, that you might be missing. Event Horizon. I love the movie Event Horizon. Um, I don't think it's the best movie. It could be on my top 100 list, but I, I didn't include it. I forgot about it. Yeah, Event Horizon is a really... That's a movie that fucking scared me. Because picture this, you're watching TV as a kid... Well, not that young, but still, like, you know, 14, 15. And you turn on the TV, and then you see this weird, like, sci-fi movie. The fuck? That involves, like, body horror and, and, like, hell and demons and people going insane. It's, it's, it's frightening. Oh, hey, oh, just a cat. Oh. I didn't like that. No, no one liked that. Not a single chat member. Well, maybe one or two sick bastards, but... So there was like, um... Vinny in the Mouth of Madness. Now, I need to watch that. Sam Neill's in that, too. But, I haven't seen that. That's a Carpenter movie, if I'm not mistaken. Event Horizon had a lot of cut footage because it was, like, really extreme. I think they're trying to restore some of it. But yeah, they, they had those actors do some pretty... ...disturbing things for what their blood orgy scene. Do you still like the the abyss? Yeah, I like the abyss.
someone said the abyss is lacking in my opinion yeah it is it it's it could have been more the film shoot of the abyss in and of itself is just a fucking shocking story like hearing about people like emotionally and mentally breaking down how they spent 18 hours in cold water trying to film that movie ed harris having to hold his breath with that fluid in the helmet um, nearly choking to death James Cameron nearly dying on set it just went on and on and on it won't open oh it doesn't look odd the, uh, yeah the, the a movie The Abyss could have been more but I still think it's a great movie it's written in blood tale of birds without a voice First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. The swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally out comes a crow, coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver reward? Oh dear. Well, that's going to be something I'm going to have to remember, isn't it? Vin, this puzzle's kind of BS. If you want the answer, just ask. Uh, probably will, but also it's 3.30. It's a little after 3.30, so I might not want to do too much of this. Thoughts on the movie Prometheus? It's okay. It's just okay. Could have been more as well. Honestly, probably also could have been less. <laughs> yeah, just tried to explain stuff that didn't need explanation, just raised a lot of questions ended kind of disappointingly. Weirdly enough, I feel like Alien Covenant is both better and worse than Prometheus. I guess depending on who you ask, but I think there was some stuff that worked and some that really, really didn't. It answered some questions from the previous movie and then raised a whole bunch more and then just did stupid, stupid um, and all the characters were really dumb. These are the smartest people in the galaxy, and they're, like, taking their helmets off on an alien planet. And, like, touching, like, samples of, like, alien, like, spores and goo. Just... Really, um... Mostly unlikable, dumb casts. Both of them pretty unnecessary, but there's some good stuff in both. I feel like there was there's some redeeming value in both of them. I just wish Ridley would... I don't know what I wish Ridley would do, actually. I don't know what I want that dude to do. He's like 80. He's still directing movies. Maybe just, like, stop? You know, just do his interviews and have people give him adulation and credit for all the great stuff he's done. And, um... He could just, like, produce, and he could let other people tackle the Alien franchise. He's, like, producing so many shows, though. Like, he just... He's directed that, that show, Among Wolves, or what, what is it called? Dances with Wolves? What's the name of that show? That we watched? Raised by Wolves. Yeah, I have to save the game now. And, um, I think he... Yeah, he wants to just keep directing. It's his life's passion. 
and I wouldn't want to take that away from him. Like, he loves what he does, and he's old. He lost a lot of his family, you know, and... He's made classic movies. And so, if he wants to keep directing, I don't want to stop the guy. I don't, you know, have, do what you well, do what you love. But, uh, you know, maybe just don't do more alien movies. Just let someone else do the, those. Vinny, stop him. I will be the one to stop Ridley Scott. Okay, so this is, um, this is where I'm gonna save for the night. It's 20 to... Excuse me, it's 20 to 4. I really like this. Um, it's better than I thought it would be in terms of how it aged. Having played Silent Hill 2 last year, I was very impressed and, and loved that game. And, I mean, yeah, this is proto-Silent Hill 2. It's Silent Hill 1! And it's creepy and weird. So far, I'm like, you know, I liked Silent Hill 2 a little bit better so far. Like, if you compare where I was gameplay-wise then to now... It's just, you know, they took advantage of the PS2's power, and I guess I like James quite a bit. James. But this is great, too. Um, and I'm looking forward to playing more of it and seeing how weird it gets and learning more about what's happening. So, soon. Expect, expect more Silent Hill in the next week or two. You know, like, obviously I'll be streaming it every couple days. Someone said, can we expect Silent Hill 3 next year? It's possible. Alright, well thank you for watching the stream tonight, everybody. Let's do the art.